Hey there, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. We trust the Lord has given you a great, uh, uh, great start to the week, and we rejoice and had just an excellent meeting last night at the church. Uh, it was the best attended um, midweek meeting we've ever had, and we want to encourage you to come out tonight and be part of what God's doing here as we seek the Lord for revival. But let's pray together and ask God's blessing on our time. Father in heaven, we love you, and we thank you for the day you've given to us. Uh, Lord, we're thankful for the many answers to prayer. Uh, God, we're thankful for your continued working in our hearts and in our lives. And, and Father, this morning we ask that as we come before thy throne, as we prepare our hearts uh, for uh, devotion, we, we ask, Lord, that you would help us, that you'd speak to us and encourage us and help us to walk in the way we ought to go. And so, Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles to 2 Chronicles chapter number 19. 2 Chronicles chapter 19, we find uh, ourselves in the midst of the reign of Jehoshaphat, uh, king of Judah. Now, Jehoshaphat, he was a good man. Uh, he loved the Lord. He sought the Lord. And his desire was for the people of Judah uh, to follow the Lord as well. So he, he sent out, and even in chapter 17, he sent out uh, priests and Levites and prophets to go out into all of Judah and to teach the people the law of the Lord. However, something terrible happened in chapter 18. Uh, he, 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 didn't, he, didn't can, uh, he didn't seek the Lord's direction here. In, in verse 1 of chapter 18, the Bible tells us that he joined affinity with Ahab, and he went out with him uh, and battled together with Israel and Ramoth Gilead uh, to recover that place that Israel had lost. Now, Ahab was killed in that battle. Jehoshaphat also nearly lost his life. But the Bible says this in chapter number 19 in verse 1. It says, And Jehoshaphat the king of Judah returned to his house in peace to Jerusalem, and that was by the grace of God. In verse 2, the Bible says, And, and Jehu the son of Hanani, the seer went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, and this is something that you and I, we must take consideration to, and this is kind of dovetails what uh, the preacher said last night in revival meeting. He says, Shouldst thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Therefore is the wrath, uh, is, I'm sorry, therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. Uh, the Lord was angry with Jehoshaphat. He was upset Jehoshaphat loved God, he sought the Lord, and nearly everything except for his uh, allegiance, his affinity with, with Ahab. And he went out and he helped an ungodly man. Uh, he, he went out and, and helped one who hated the Lord. Now, we're not talking about, uh, you know, we're, what I want to encourage you with is separation from the world. Now, now, evil communications corrupt good manners. Understand that. That we're to come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord. Uh, what can uh, the Bible says? Can two walk together except they be agreed? And so here we have these. Uh, this man Ahab, Ahab, who was a fellow Hebrew, he was a fellow Jew. Um, yet even though uh, they were of the, of, a, of, a, of the same nation and people, they were of different kingdoms, different pursuits, different devotions. Jehoshaphat loved God. Ahab wanted nothing to do with God. He and his wicked wife Jezebel, uh, they sought to exterminate the worship of God from Israel. And they established the stronghold of Baal worship amongst the hearts and lives of their people. And, and now we come here and, and Jehoshaphat goes out and he joins allegiance with him. Now, as Christian people, you and I, we must give ourselves to pursue the lost. No doubt about it. We're to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature because God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We know this. However, uh, this is a very practical level of life. This, is your, this isn't your pursuit of lost souls. This is your allegiance with them in life. You and I, we must, we need to understand that there is a difference between that which is holy and that which is profane in our in our worship and in the practical aspects of our life and as we look here it's vital that we that we make the distinction because not only did it almost cause Jehoshaphat his life but the bible says that uh, 
that wrath was upon him from before the Lord. I don't want to upset God. I don't want to anger the Lord. I want God's blessing on my life. And you see, we need to we need to understand that it is unhealthy spiritually and practically uh, to spend our time to be near and close friends with the ungodly. Christians, let us seek the Lord. You know, I'm thankful that Jehoshaphat didn't uh, didn't stay there. The Bible says in verse three, even even the Lord, he, he recognized this. And he says in verse three, nevertheless. There are good things found in thee, and that thou shalt thou hast taken away the groves out of the land, and hast prepared thine heart to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat dwelt at Jerusalem, and he went out again through the uh, through the people from Beersheba to Mount Ephraim, and notice notice what the Bible says: brought them back unto the Lord God of their fathers. You see, when when Jehoshaphat had left, when he went out to pursue an affinity, and struck up that allegiance with Ahab, people followed him, and they took note. People are watching you, Christian. They're taking note. Your children are watching you. Uh, your family, your wife, uh, your husband, uh, your nieces, your nephews, your grandchildren, uh, they, are, they are watching you. And we recognize we've made an error. We, we must go out, and we must bring them back to the Lord to the Lord God of their fathers. Jehoshaphat made the mistake, but thankfully he had enough wherewithal to correct that. And uh, may God help us, if we've made an error in this manner, may God help us go back and bring those that we've led astray back to the Lord. Christian, may God help us today. May the Lord help uh, our hearts and may God send revival. Father, we love you. And Lord, we pray, we, we ask that you'd help us here today uh, to live for thee. Uh, Lord, we pray that you would, uh, would work and move in, in our hearts and, and help us to not strike up affinity with anyone, uh, Lord, who does not love you. Anyone who uh, does not have you as their primary pursuit of life. And so, God, we ask that you'd strengthen us. And, Lord, help us do uh, take inventory of our lives and, and see if we've erred. And if we have, God, may you help us lead those that have followed us astray. Lord, help us lead them back to thee. But, Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. As always, it's an honor to have you. We're praying for you, and we hope to see you right back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.